Bayer Dynamic calls this their headphones for creative professionals, but honestly, these headphones are good for just about anybody. Hey guys, if you're looking for a pair of accurate headphones, whether it's for work or just to enjoy your music, the Bayer Dynamic DT900 Pro X should definitely be on your list to consider. Before we get into the review, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. So, let's talk design. It's pretty classically Bayer, and the DT900 Pro X is open back, with the accompanying DT700 Pro X being the closed back version. Since I prefer to use headphones solely at home, I went with the open back one. Long story short, open back headphones provide better clarity and more immersiveness with a wider sound stage. But the downside is that because they are open back, they actually leak noise out and you can hear you know, what's going on around you. So these definitely will not be the best choice if you're planning on using them like you know, on your commute, in the car, on trains, when you're traveling, stuff like that. But since I'm only using them at home, it's perfectly fine for my use case. The ear pads are made with velour and they are incredibly plush and comfortable. The yokes are metal and they feel incredibly sturdy and durable with a hardy plastic for the headband. There's also quite a bit of padding on the headband and on the inside, you get a tiny orange line on the left side so you can immediately figure out left and right. Well, the other way would be just to see where the cable is because you know the mini XLR port is also on the left. The ear cups themselves don't swivel though and there's no way to fold these up. So again, they are really not built for portability. But something that I applaud Bayer for doing is that they have actually made it really easy to replace the parts on these headphones. So for example, the padding on the headband is replaceable, the ear pads are really easily removable, and the cable is, well, detachable. And this is great for sustainability because, I mean, if the cable spoils, you don't have to go out and buy a new pair of headphones or, you know, if your ear pads or the padding on your headband wears out. It's good for the environment. Included in the box is a soft carrying pouch and two lengths of cables, a 1.8 meter cable and a 3 meter cable, both coming for 3.5 millimeter termination, although both have their own 1 quarter inch screw-on adapter, which is very nice. As for comfort, I do have to say that the clamping force on these headphones were actually very strong out of the box. So for the first like 4-5 days, I couldn't really wear them for longer than an hour or two. But after that, they kind of loosened up and right now I can wear them for like 5-6 hours on end with no discomfort or pain at all. The velour ear pads combined with the open back design also mean that you know my ears don't get too overheated even here in Singapore. Moving on to specs, these are using Bayer's new proprietary Stella 0.45 drivers and they come in at a really low impedance of just 48 ohms, which means that you can drive them with pretty much everything, whether it's your phone or your laptop, desktop, without the need for an external amp. Back at home, I usually plug them straight into my desktop and I usually only need to set them to around 20% of my system volume because they get plenty loud. But how do they sound? Honestly, really good. The biggest problem with Bayer's DT990 was that the treble usually was a bit too sharp for most people. Even for me, someone who really likes brighter treble, some songs were just a bit, a bit too much. But with these, Bayer has actually brought down the treble and kind of made it a more balanced sort of sound signature. There's also a good amount of bass, although it's more focused on control and speed rather than raw power. Given that Bayer is marketing these as studio headphones, I would say that the company has done a pretty good job at ensuring that the sound coming out of these is really accurate. You hear music as it's intended without the emphasis on the bass that most other earbuds nowadays tend to introduce. That being said, if you're looking for bassy headphones, these are definitely not what you'll be looking for and I actually applaud you for staying this long into the video. Also, if you're thinking that these sound overly analytical, I can assure you not really. Bayer has done a pretty good job at balancing analytical and musically engaging here. But that being said, if you are still looking for something that's very musically engaging, these aren't really for you either. That being said, if you are willing to put in the time to tinker around with EQs, these are actually a pretty good pair of headphones to tinker with. Soundstage is superb as expected out of open back headphones. 
Instrument imaging and layering is great, and you really can pick out each individual instrument in the mix without too much difficulty at all. Personally, I use these for pretty much everything in the time that I tested them. Music listening, playing games, even checking the audio and such for these YouTube videos that I make. They handled everything that I threw at them with ease. At the 299 US dollar price tag or 399 Singapore dollar, these are actually great all-rounders if you're looking for something that's not overly emphasized in any one area. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the Bayer Dynamic DT900 Pro X headphones. If you guys have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe to us and like this video. Till next one, see you guys!